Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. I'm Troy Brinnemeyer with Lessons with Troy. Well, I'm on a quest to find the cheapest lap steel and amp combo, but yet that sounds the best, right? And I really think I might have found it with this. This SX lap steel sounds really good and plays really good for the money. So I got this on Reverb for around about $189 and it comes with a sweet gig bag, um, legs even. I don't think I'll be using the legs. I tried them out and uh, I just like having it on my lap. But if you're a player that you know loves to have your lap steel up on legs, you could, you could do that with this one. So $189 uh, might be more depending on when you're watching this video, but you know, in tax and shipping and all that. But that's around about uh, what I paid for this which is actually less than the Recording King, right? And I have to say that I do like this better than the Recording King. Um, the string spacing is a little bit wider, makes it easier to play. Uh, I feel like the hardware's better. I feel like it stays in tune better. Um, you, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than the Recording King, and you get more for your money. The legs, the gig bag. Um, has a really nice bridge, honestly. Uh, has kind of like this tunomatic. Let's see if you can see it. Tunomatic style bridge. There. Um, might be a pain in the butt to to change strings. You kind of have to wrap them around that. But the other reason why I got this is um, it has a lot of space here for the Sertano benders. So I think I could easily put those on. And um, in the future, I might want to upgrade the nut on this. Maybe put locking tuners as you can see the tuners are just i think they're just like regular guitar tuners right i could be wrong but i might want to you know try putting some locking tuners on there i love locking tuners it just makes changing strings so much easier um but yeah everything seems real solid on it and it, and it stays in tune and it sounds good this p90 pickup a p90 is kind of like in between a single coil and a humbucker. Let me show you what it sounds like. Now I am playing this through my Spark amp. This is just the stock clean setting on the Spark, but the Spark, uh, it just has a great uh, reverb, delay, lots of great effects. It hooks into your phone and iPad. I did a video on it you know in a, in a previous video but 270 bucks around about for the for the spark amp um, 189 for the lap steel you're looking at a really nice beginner setup for in between four and five hundred dollars something like that Go ahead and, and um, show you this this uh, kind of overdriven setting that I made for the Spark Amp. You can make your own settings and then store them, and that's what I did here. Uh, let's try this one. Thank you. 
So the, the, the string tension, I find, is real nice on this, too. Even on the low string, you know, normally in open, open D tuning is what tuning I'm in, too. So, you know, a lot of times that low string is pretty bendy. I feel like this might be a little bit less floppy than it was on the recording king. Let me show you this other setting I made that's kind of like uh, has uh, the tremolo on it. Now I did upload these to the to the tone cloud, which if you've got the uh, the Spark amp just up here on the top right, click the little cloud symbol, and it should load. Let me see if it's going to do it. it. Should load these tones up. Where and if you want to search for my tones, just type up here in the top. Do a search for Troy. Let's see. See it'll come up. <laughs> Okay, so and then go over to tag. There we go. And you can, if you, I believe you can uh, download those if you click the red, right? This is kind of like a Born on the Bayou. That's a pretty sweet little, uh, little. D7 kind of uh, arpeggio there. I think in, uh, the Credence does it in the key of E, but I'm doing it in the key of D. But if you just take your bar up on this uh, third fret, second string, that gives you that real nice D7 chord. Just do open fourth, open third, open first, and then third fret, second string. That's a pretty sweet little setting on here, so let me go back to it. I've got on the mod, if you see that, I've got the tremolo set, so that's what you're hearing. But I love trying to go for that kind of southwest desert sound. You could even probably put more reverb if you wanted to get real trippy. for kind of like a Rai Cooter uh, kind of tone there. Which this P90 pickup is kind of cool for that, you know, because it, it's not as fat sounding as a humbucker, but still yet not as thin as a single coil. So it's kind of nice in between tone. Nice tone, way up high. It's crazy how many frets there are, too. Look at that. I um, guess that's 12, 24, and then another 12 frets. But the frets get so so uh, narrow up there. I don't know if you're playing much up there. Yeah, so for this setting, like I said, you can just go to the tone cloud and do a search for it. I've just got a sweet little, a little bit of delay on there. I've got the uh, the tweed, kind of like a Fender tweed amp. So no overdrive, just the I'm just getting gain from the amp there. Uh, the booster pedal set, a little bit of compression and the noise gate. I think I just took like maybe the, the clean 
the uh, natural clean sound on on the spark the clean channel and then just uh, put the switch to the amp head which you can do that if you just double click the amp you can go to whatever amp head you want there I love that that tremolo once again that's under the mod modulation so if you double click that's the number one tremolo that I got on there and I guess I could do more of a analog delay but I actually like that delay <laughs> like just that natural kind of sound where it's they call it touch sensitive right where it's back to the amp see if I hit it soft it's trying to like emulate a, a tube amp of breaking up where it's where if you hit it harder it'll break up more right go back to just a regular clean sound so if you go over to hardware one clean is a lot of times what I'll build my my tone stacks on trying to figure out hula blues and open D tuning, right? It's got that nice little that nice little Hawaiian uh, yodel kind of lick on your third and first string. And you do the slant on eight and nine. Hawaiian sounds and open detuning on your third and first string, you know, because that's that parallel six, and just has, especially with this one, it really has that nice clean. Um, I bet it sounds nice in, in C6 tuning. Oop. Yeah, but it, it plays really well in tune, stays in tune well. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, I've tried the, the legs out. Um, they look like like this, and you just screw them into the uh, the back of, of the of your lap steel. And uh, to me, it raised it up too high, and I didn't like it so much. I just like like it on my leg, and 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 I don't mind that the the you know the leg mounts in there actually it adds a little bit of weight to it. I, I don't know if in my mind that might add some sustain. I don't know if it does, but uh, the legs, I, I wouldn't probably mess with them, but I know there are some people that don't want to set it on their lap and want to set it, you know, on a, on the legs. And it, it was it was relatively uh, stable, you know, just three legs. I, definitely you can do it if you're a person that likes to play a lap steel with legs on it. Anyways, I'm rambling, so let me go ahead and sign off here. Really like the SX lap steel in combination with the Spark Amp. I think it's a great beginner uh, lap steel, or if, if you're a guitar player out there and you want to kind of get into lap steel but not, you know, invest a whole lot. I mean, $189. This is, it's really not bad for the money at all, you know. Um, I like the, the input jack here on the front. And uh, I think that's about it. Maybe in a future video, I'll put those Sertano benders on there and, and see how it sounds. Uh, and that would be a really cheap way to uh, to play it. And I do think, too, you can lower this, this P90 pickup. Let's see if you can see this. I can't remember if I showed you that or not. But there's the... It is pretty close to the strings. But look at those. The uh, volume and tone knobs. Those are not bad, you know. I think that feels like metal. Um, 
yeah, if you wanted to lower this, I can't remember if I showed you or not, but there is a, a screw in between your pole pieces there. You'll see one there and in between there. I think it's a Phillips head screw. The others are flat head screws, but look at the Phillips head screw, and I believe you can lower it if you wanted to. I think. I haven't tried it yet, but normally you have a way in a pickup like that to be able to raise and lower the height of it. Okay, guys, well, I'm signing off here. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, and be sure to check out my streaming site for all my lessons, lwtstreaming.com. And if you like this and you're not a subscriber to my YouTube page, be sure to do that. I do lots of videos on here for lots of slidey instruments. So uh, we'll see you on the next lesson, and have a good one. Thanks, everybody. Bye.